With Virgin Media, you can build up the entertainment and tear down the price. Switch to Virgin Media today and get super fast broadband and TV for just 49 euro a month for an awesome 12 months. The sale that stacks up. Now on. See virginmedia.ie and check out how our mobile sales stacks up too. T's and C's apply. See virginmedia.ie. 12 month contract. Offer ends 27th of February 2019. Hi guys. Uh, well, coming to you from cold and rainy London, England, and across the pond in sunny, warm, happy Salt Lake City, Utah. <laughs> it's thank God I'm atheist. The podcast. I'm Frank. And I'm Dan. Coming up on today's episode, we're going to well, actually we're going to bring up something that we talked about previously. Um, we're going to um, be sort of discussing the question of whether a homosexual man can live authentically while married to a straight woman. Yeah. Yeah, so that's it's a, interesting. It's, it's the, the, the question of the day now, yeah, all of a sudden. And why would he even do, want to do that? Indeed. And, yeah, and we're sort of what does that mean for... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what that means for anything, actually. So that's well, going to we'll be fun. We'll discuss it and figure it out. <laughs> We'll yes. figure out the meaning. <laughs> and uh, so there's that going on. And yeah. So Dan, how's how's yeah. London? It's cold, as yeah. I said. I don't know, man. I, this weather. I, I would love to live in a city, but frankly, the weather would be depressing. Yeah. Yeah. In the bones. Yeah, Chill well, to the bones. No, I mean, I'm fine with cold, but let's conceal it. Let, let's just keep it to winter. That's oh. all, that's all I ask. You have as <laughs> okay. much cold as you want, it, and and as cold as you want, but let's confine it to uh, to winter and fall, and maybe early spring. Come June. and then let's warm it up a little bit. Yeah, I have to say it's been a little weird in Salt Lake. Oh yeah, yeah. I I, I don't know if, if if you've been following <laughs> the weather in Salt Lake. I'm just realizing absence, that we're like, what are we? Eighty three years old. We're spending all this time on our <laughs> podcast talking about the weather. <laughs> Well, well, over sciatica. here, the weather. <laughs> oh, my God. You, you wouldn't understand this weather. It's terrible. <laughs> and apparently we're, we're Jewish. I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah. We doing? convert. We convert. <laughs> we convert in our old age. Indeed. Well, who That's the future to? of us. Yeah. But well, other than that, London's amazing. And uh-huh. if anybody needs pro tips for how to do cool things in London on the cheap, like see cheap. I've seen like a ton of great theater for super cheap oh yeah cool um then um should we follow up on a story real quick oh idaho idaho (laughs) uh state liquor board whatever you want to call it uh the state liquor division i guess is probably the more correct way uh on uh this last week they reversed their uh decision we talked about this uh an episode last episode i think about the uh five wives vodka right um which is just offensive to mormons <laughs> but strangely it's i mean it's produced in utah yeah. it's not like this is it's, <laughs> it's not like the mormon church is producing this stuff yeah like, well, and how i many love the Mor- i love that defense of it <laughs> well no but what i'm saying is that like if mormon if utahns can handle it what's oh, idaho's right. beef yeah I, I don't know anyway it's they, not like the mormons are going into the liquor store going hey we're offended <laughs> They would be and more if, offended just by the liquor rather right, than the they, name. They, they, they wouldn't even be, even if they were offended, they wouldn't be able to admit where they saw it. So oh, that's, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, y- y- you know how some recipes call for alcohol and blah, blah, blah. You know, that mm. whole thing. Well, sure. my mom had a couple traditional recipes. My parents are converts to the Mormon church. Right. And so she would send my dad to go get... You know, like brandy and whatever else that was needed. And uh, he would disappear, drive off other county, (laughs) hit a liquor store, (laughs) (laughs) 
So just because he didn't, he didn't want to what who what, he didn't want to run into the Mormons at the liquor store. No, of course so, that's exactly that's, why. That's the fear, right? That's why you so. have to go to another county. All the Mormons who drink, and they mm-hmm. do. There yeah. are some, especially I'm sure that Oklahoma Mormons. There are going to be a few that are drinking. Possibly, like U- Utah Mormons may. They're, yeah, who knows? But Oklahoma Mormons, it seems to me that there are a few that were raised on it. Mm-hmm. They want to keep doing it, but they're Mormon now, yeah. so they sneak away. What's What's the joke about not inviting a? Don't <laughs> invite why, a, a Mormon. Why do you Why do you take two Mormons fishing with you? That's because <laughs> if you take one, he drinks all your beer. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, so Idaho capitulated. Well, that's nice. So now yeah. you can get Five Wives vodka in Idaho. Special order only, but yeah. <laughs> and that's the truth. I didn't just make that up. They're not going to stock it, but if you want it, they'll order it for you. I suppose we can order it for you. <laughs> that offensive the- vodka. Like, seriously, like, is there some, like, Relief Society president who runs every liquor store in the state of Idaho? Right? Like, how, who's being offended here? It's shocking to me because offending is half of how you sell liquor. <laughs> like, that's what you do. You put something crazy on the label to, uh, you know, whatever. Devil's vagina vodka or something like that. You just, you put something crazy so that you can sell it. So that college <laughs> students see it and laugh and then buy it. Classy, Dan. Classy. <laughs> I go for class. That's what I do. It's, my, it's, it's kind of my gig. It's a thing that I do. Uh, that's awesome. That's hey, cool. I, do, I wanted to mention a quick thing. Um, oh, sure. Jake from Facebook, no. our, our, a, a, a fan of the show on the Facebooks, sure. uh, posted a quick thing. You know, we've talked about atheist billboards. There are lots of them. They're big, people are atheists are putting up their billboards. Oh, it's yeah. apparently our main means of communication with the rest <laughs> of the world. <laughs> we should look into something else. We should, we should but but what? What could it be? Smoke That's signals. What I don't. <laughs> I think that's a great idea. I mean, nobody will understand it. There will be like <laughs> one guy on a, on you know, a Paiute reservation who's like, hey, whoa. Wait, it'll yes, it'll work cool. just as well as reason for most of the people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, so Jake posted a thing that was uh, just a quick little thing about a, 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 a billboard in Ohio that got taken down. Oh? The billboard said... It well it so it says faith is a virtue, and then it um, it actually crosses out the word faith and and writes reason is a virtue. Hmm. That's so that's that's the big thing that it says. I think they should cross out virtue, leave faith, and put, <laughs> and put vice. Faith. Ooh. Ooh. You're, oh, now see now you're getting all snarky like like our detractors want you to get. You're you're betraying our apparently very nice reputation. <laughs> I know. I'm so, I'm sorry, everyone who listens, because we're nice. Yeah, exactly. We and, apologize for and screw for, you, everyone who thinks we're too nice. <laughs> yeah, honestly, honestly, <laughs> I love that feedback. Everyone who's listening—that's actual feedback we get. We actually get feedback that yeah. from atheists yeah. who are like, "Oh, I don't, I don't like nice atheists." It's like, somebody, somebody posted. I, I hope you're listening, whoever you are. Somebody posted on uh, on iTunes. It's nice. I prefer my atheists a little snarkier. <laughs> this was on you a know, review on iTunes. I like I, snark. I like snark. I feel like we're pretty damn snarky. Yeah. I mean, we're we're damn. not dicks. That's the difference. <laughs> we're yeah. snarky, but we're not like like assholes. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just. Do we need to get out of Utah more often? Like, <laughs> we, maybe. I don't know. I feel like we're. I feel like we've struck a good balance. But you know what? <laughs> Call us out, folks. If you yeah. if you feel like we haven't done it, jump on the Facebook and sure and yeah. write something. All right, that's fine. Anyway, we. Uh, oh, and by the way, 
We could yeah, still that's... use a f- we could still use a few more reviews on iTunes. We can always sure. use more reviews. If you haven't done it, go ahead and do it. Why not? It's nice. Yes. But yeah, so there's this. Uh, so we're in Mansfield, Ohio. There's this billboard up. It says mm. "Faith is a virtue," but they cross out "faith" and they put the word, word "reason." Oh, that's right. Yeah, we're talking. And about apparently, that. Yeah. it um, it offended the landowner who owned the uh, land that the billboard was on. Who like leases it to the billboard company type deal? Right, right. Oh, so God. it got taken down early. It was up, but it was taken down early. You know, like if you're going to be getting, because it seems like atheists just get their billboards taken down all the time. It's like, yeah. so like, you know, go for the gold, guys. I'm going to say it. Just be as offensive as you want to be. <laughs> just like give these people a, at least a good reason. That's not well, offensive. But that guy asked to have taken down is not offensive. Well, here's the other thing <clears throat> is that we learned from um, one of our listeners who talked to us about it many months ago or whenever it was that we were talking about it. One of our listeners said that their experience was that uh, I believe his experience was that he he kept trying different things. Like he would his his original one was rejected, so then he tried another one and another one. I think go for the gold just to get something up. Have a final destination that you actually want, like one that says reason is a virtue. Hmm. But start with like <laughs> fuck your god. <laughs> <laughs> start with that. We want to do a billboard. We want it to say "fuck your god," and oh then, and god. then, and then yeah. when they're like, "No, we're never going to do that." Oh, okay. Let me take it down a notch, yeah. and then just notch it down. See how much you can get away with by starting as awful as you can. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's uh, my that was, o- official advice. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know that that was the message. I think Curtis, right? Wasn't it Curtis? Who, oh, it uh, was Curtis. Yeah, I don't think that yeah, was yeah. Curtis's message, Dan. No, I I think, <laughs> but if Kurt, imagine what he could have gotten away with if he had started there. Right, right. It's it's just like what happens when you know it's any negotiation. You you want to set the terms of the negotiation. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Well, Dan, um, I, yeah. I I I um, you've you've heard about the the face chewer, right? The cannibal um, face chewer. Our friend, the face chewer. Our, our, yes. Um, he, um, he, he, uh, his, his girlfriend is coming out to defend him. Oh. Um, because, and she's like hired like um, some people to like help her and all this kind of stuff. <laughs> a PR uh, team. A P, well, at least a PR for, woman. For the face eater. Yes. <laughs> um, because she feels like he's being uh, needlessly maligned. Oh yeah, and, <laughs> it's it's people are you um, know people can be so cruel to people who eat other other people's faces. Oh, I know who get naked and attack homeless folks. Ugh, it's just the worst. <laughs> um, but anyways, um, she according to her, and this is her defense. Um, yeah. she says, um, that that he was religious. <laughs> so lay off, <laughs> because religious people don't do bad things, <clears throat> right? What so clearly something so wait a minute though. Does that mean that Satan got him right at the end? I I, I don't know. I don't know if that's what uh the message is that she wants to be giving. <laughs> no, but what I'm saying is let's take this to its logical conclusion. He was religious, then he ate some dude's face. Mm. Something happened between point A and point B. Well he he <laughs> misunderstood um I don't know. Um, the body One of, the of psalms. I don't know. <laughs> he was he was reading something and mi- he misinterpreted a psalm. Well, I mean, you know, body of Christ. It's already sort of cannibalism every Sunday, so it just seems like the next <laughs> leap. You know, oh, um, the, tra- the transubstantiation. Does that mean that like the dude's face was turning into a wafer in his mouth? <laughs> <laughs> Gross. It's- I will Re- say this. Reverse transubstantiation. Oh, God. Um, that's really funny. Um, but <laughs> he, uh, no, apparently, I found this out. I don't think this was actually in this article, but I, I read one the other day. Uh, apparently, he wasn't actually um, swallowing. Yeah, I saw that too. Yeah. Like, there he, was no human flesh in his in his yeah. stomach. I mean, this is gory and gruesome and, and awful, and I think we just earned an explicit for this episode. Um, but... Um, yeah. Oh, by the Gross. way, the explicit thing. I should. We should. We need to. Let's talk offline. Okay. Okay. I was going to get our listeners involved. For what? And what what they think is explicit. Well, yeah. I think that's a good question. That, I think iTunes thinks that 
any swearing is explicit. But that's and not I the definition that, of explicit. No, it's not. And frankly, I think it's stupid. But I also think that they're not going to feature us ever, no matter what, if we're not labeled the way they want us to label us. Well, whatever. I anyway, I, listeners, if you have any ideas about what is explicit to you, what should be labeled and what shouldn't be. Well, and go what, to, go to, what do you think Facebook. is explicit for iTunes? Do you have an, uh, any understanding of that? Because That's true. If you, ha- if, if you actually have inside knowledge of like wh- how, what iTunes. Know. Yeah. Yeah. We don't know. We're just throwing shit out into the world. We have we literally don't know anything about this business. Yeah. Uh, what are we yeah. doing doing a podcast? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Anywho. Um so but apparently he was very fond of the Quran and the Bible. Oh. Yeah, he was he was like doubly religious. He Wow. He, yeah, he he, okay. he he liked he liked him some God. And yet all all of that religion, once you ingest certain chemicals, can't stop you from Getting naked and attacking a homeless person. That's true. Yes. You'd think. He needed to pray more. <laughs> That's the... Uh, yeah, that, that would have solved his problem. Yeah. I, obviously. Yeah. It must. It must. Okay. Sure. Well, so, speaking of uh, of people from the from news past... Oh, okay. Yeah. What you got? Um, Do you remember back in, oh, 20... 10 i want to say maybe maybe no maybe it was even before that uh when there was a guy in florida a pastor who was who was going to burn a bunch of qurans oh and it was yeah. causing great yeah, controversy yeah, yeah. his name was terry jones not to be confused with the monty python terry jones who's much more funny i think although okay. it doesn't look quite as funny as pastor terry jones because that <laughs> dude looks crazy <laughs> He's got this great mustache. It's uh, the big, thick handlebar sort of t- Hulk Hogan type mustache. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he looks as you great. Do. Anyway, so uh, so he, I you know I think once you get a taste of that attention, you just got to get it back. Mm, it's like the jungle cat <laughs> and people. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. He got a taste for. <laughs> For the, for blood for you for blood yes. Anyway, so he uh, he has now hung our president Barack Hussein Obama. Mm-hmm. I do like saying his middle name. I don't know why. It's like this bizarre compulsion I have. Anyway, okay. uh, he he hung him in effigy out in front of his church. Oh, did he now? He he, he made the stupidest, ugliest looking effigy I think you can imagine. <laughs> Oh no! Using using a Barack Obama like face mask. Oh no! That you'd buy in a dollar store or whatever. Yeah, sure. And then making a dummy, and the, the they have a close up of this. It's so great. It's this yellow, you know, that yellow sort of nylon rope that you can buy for like lashing things to your car or whatever. Sure. Yeah. 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 yeah he's, so he's got that around the around this wooden block for a neck, and then a really sort of makeshift stuffed suit it's it's very funny god okay (laughs) but yeah and then behind it there's a there's a big uh a um sign on a trailer (laughs) and it says obama is killing america yeah of course he is okay he's gonna he's gonna kill him back (laughs) apparently (laughs) it says i mean I, i don't know like Burning people in effigy, like, I mean, it does get to, it, it, you, I think you hit the, the nail right on the head. It gets you some attention if you're burning the right person in effigy. Right. Um, well, you know, the thing is that burning in effigy is one thing. Hanging in effigy is a different thing. Hanging a black man in effigy is an entirely different whoa, thing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a second. I totally, I missed a, a, a beat here. He didn't, he did no burning? No, he's he's just hanging there. Oh this guy is he's out there. God. He's on the lawn. You're kidding there. me. He no. lynched our president in effigy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, no, 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 no. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no. this is this is, I mean, you know, it's it's Oh my no matter, god, that's no matter that what you're trying to right there. Well, no, come on. Let's let's be real. It's 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 not that bad, but it's but he's certainly calling upon racist history in America. You can't you can't divorce hanging a black man from from the racist history yeah. of America. Yeah, 
No. So I mean, I, say what you will. This is this is a this is a racially uh, charged m- move. Yeah. Right here. Even if, you know, even if he claimed, and he may claim that it's just because he doesn't like Obama's policies. He's talking. He likes to talk about. It's about the gay thing. It's about Obama. Um, apparently, his big beef is that is is that Obama supporting gay marriage. Oh, gotcha. Huh. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. You, you can't hang the guy. No. In effigy. That's just that's the wrong choice. Yeah. That. Yeah. That. That. He crossed a line. What, what would Jesus do, Pastor Terry? I um. I think he might adopt adopt a highway. <laughs> That sounds like a segue, Frank. <laughs> it sounds I, I, like I've been sitting here for twenty seconds trying to figure out a segue, <laughs> and I'm like, Dan, have you ever heard of the KKK? That's like my standard segue, right? Where I'm like, mm-hmm. Dan, have you ever heard this? Have you ever heard that? Yeah. No, um, apparently, Dan, the KKK in Georgia wants to uh, join uh, that state's Adopt a Highway program. Okay, oh, I'm gonna I'm going to comment on that, but I. Would... First, need to stop you and say you couldn't figure out a segue between hanging Obama in effigy <laughs> and the I, Ku Klux Klan. I, I was trying not to go for the <laughs> obvious. Okay, I was just trying, Dan. Oh, okay. Can, can you understand, okay. like, I'm, why I'm just... I would try to to not? <laughs> sure. I thought mine sure. was one, pretty good. I thought that was pretty good. Artful. Out of the blue, what would Jesus do? Adopt the highway. I think <laughs> I don't. I don't think that's bad. Okay. I'm just gonna say. All right. Also, um, Dan, yeah, um, I'm digging this whole like recording the podcast while lying in bed. <laughs> I know because I know I've I, I, I've seen you on the camera on on yeah. Skype, you know, doing yeah. this. Yeah, and I I kind of kind of followed suit, and so I'm doing the same thing. I've got like a mic stand, and the the mic's all perched out, <laughs> laptops on my lap, my iPads in one hand. Yeah. It's to explain, nice. well, and what's really funny for you mm-hmm. listeners at home. So, so our setup is that we we each have to have our own full recording setup mm-hmm. on either side of the pond, and then we we talk through Skype. But we don't want you guys to hear like Skypey sound, gross. Ta- so yeah. that so we each record our things and we mush it together. And there's a whole lot of stuff that that's involved. But since I'm staying at a flat that in in London that. Um, I'm sharing with a whole bunch of people. I would just tuck myself away into my uh, in, into my little room and kick everybody else out. Uh, I had a roommate for a while. He's not a roommate anymore. He, anyway, I uh, don't need to explain everything. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, I would lie in bed and I would hold the microphone in my hand. Well, what's ironic, Frank, is yeah. that now since we're recording at a totally different time... Oh. I'm not in my bedroom at all. I'm out in the common room because it's far away from everybody and oh. it's really really late here. Like it's it'll be it's going to be, you know, like 3. Yeah, We're going it's on like 3 for you. Yeah, 3 in the morning. Ugh. So uh so yeah, I'm way in the uh in the common room now. So I actually for the first time am using a mic stand. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. So you and I have totally switched places entirely. It's oh, lovely. Like, yeah. I think we need to set up a studio when you get back that has bed. just like two twin beds. Yeah. And, yeah. And we can, or, or Chase lounges, something. I, right. You know what it is? Love what? sacks. Two love sacks. Oh, but that, they'll have that little, the, the little, the crumbly sound. Yeah. Okay. So we'll, like we'll that. sort it out. We'll sort it out. If we sound way too relaxed in future, <laughs> in future podcasts, <laughs> let us know. We're reclined <laughs> while recording. <laughs> Um, no, but this whole KKK, KKK, KKK thing, um, K in, oh, thanks Dan. Um, in, uh, so they, uh, wait, wait, what state is it? Georgia. Uh, it's, uh, they, they want to adopt part of route 515 in the Appalachian mountains. (laughs) Um, so these are, these are just, these are good old folk. Up in the Mount, up in the Appalachians. Good old boys. Um, and they, um, yeah, the state is desperately trying to figure out how they can deny this request. Right. Because they know they can't. Right. Uh, or, or they can't allow it to happen. Yeah. But they also know that they, that, that they're, they're kind of in, like, they have to have a good reason to say no. Well, right. Because 
if they say no on belief grounds, then the KKK will come in and sue them for letting, you know, the the Georgia Methodist Church do it, you, you know, adopt a highway too. So Well, I, I do think, though, that if you're driving along on a stretch of highway and you're a black person or an atheist or gay uh or gay man or lesbian or um, all three or or all three right um you uh you're driving along uh, on route 515 up in the <laughs> Appalachians and you come along and you see the sign that's posted you know right you know this 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 section of highway adopted by the uh whatever chapter of the KKK this is they had right. a fun name oh where was their names <laughs> Um, the International Keystone Knights of the KKK. <laughs> um, they, um, you know, and that's what it says. That's, that's not cool. No, that's, that's not, not, that's not however, a stretch of highway you want to be on. We're, but we're in the United States of America, or I will be in when I get back, but, but that's sure. where we live. And yes. part of, part of the credo, part of the whole deal is that everybody gets to have their say. Everybody gets to adopt a highway? I think so. I don't think so. I think that the next step, though, is for the Black Panther Party and the Atheists of Georgia and the Gay and Lesbian Alliance of... Right, but you're you know, citing groups that aren't hate groups. I understand that, but what I'm saying KKK is... KKK is based in... In 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 values that are anti everything that you're just I know saying I'm, what I'm what I'm saying is that the next step is for them to as, to adopt all of the parts of the highway surrounding the KKK's part of the highway, and then they're what they then so that like everything you see leading up to it is exactly what the KKK would hate, and you just surround them. With your with with different groups, you surround their stretch of highway with all the all these different groups. Yeah. That's the response. I'm just saying that. I was just suggesting that as a response. I don't. I, you're right. You can't allow a hate group. I don't know. I don't know what you do. What you, do you do? It's you free speech. It. It's First Amendment. They can speechify as much as they want to. Okay, but they. So, I don't. I don't think they get to participate in that kind of program. All right. So how do you write the legislation? That excludes them. I don't know. I don't know what. I'm not a lawyer. I'm not a legislator. I don't. I don't know. But I. I. It's a, I, the, a, it's a, a way slippery has slope. to be found. No a way. Ha- no. It's no slippery slope. The, the, there. There has to. There are. There are groups that cannot be allowed to do that. Especially. I mean. Oh my God. In Georgia, for crying yeah. out loud. Yeah. I mean. It, obviously. Yeah. I, I can't even believe that. People are still joining that organization. It's such a ridiculous organization, just in general. Yeah. Have Have they seen how they dress? Oh, oh, Dan. By the way, <laughs> I did want to bring up a picture. We're gonna have to find a picture of these people. Okay. Their uniform. Okay. There's, so there's this. There's three pic- people in this picture that comes along with this article. Yeah. And the first guy on the left, uh, older guy with a goatee, sunglasses, ball cap with a some sort of KKK symbol on it, black shirt, right? Well, uh-huh. The other two are in white shirts, um, short sleeve white shirts, buttoned down with collars. Uh-huh. Um, and because of sort of the, um, the the patches that have been sewn onto the shirt and the placement of the patches, they kind of just look like EMTs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, yes. Like really hateful EMTs. <laughs> But EMTs, nonetheless, <laughs> they could come and help you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and they're and they doing just, they're doing some sort of symbol. She looks absolutely hateful. Okay, um, so I d- I just I just went and Googled. We're gonna have to post this picture. Yeah, I just found the picture. Oh yeah. But guess what? But guess where I found it? Where? where where's your story coming from? The AP. Because I've gotten a story that just barely dropped. It looks like it just barely hit. Well, this is a. Oh no! It shows me when I saved it. Um, I don't. I don't know. Anyway, this one says Georgia denies KKK application to adopt highway. Oh, ta-da! <laughs> it was On what denied. Grounds? On what grounds? This is happening as we speak, people. Yeah, this I is... know. This is this is live here. Quick, talk for a bit because I gotta I gotta read this thing 
a little bit. Oh my. Okay. <laughs> well, um, also of note in this photo is um, <laughs> they're all um, well. They're a little hand gesture. Have you ever seen a hand gesture like that? They're like they yeah. Have it doesn't. Their... It it's clearly based on the uh, the the Nazi salute. Yes, the outstretched but... arm Nazi salute. But they're like. They're instead of all their, their fingers, fing- yes, their fingers are spread instead of together, <laughs> which is but a their subtle thumb, difference. Their thumb is like touching their f- their pointer finger. You would and then think the, that the rest but of the look, fingers are spread. Look at the guy in the black shirt. I, I think he's doing it wrong. I don't think he knows what he's doing. The mm. other two seem seem very unified. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm doing it right oh, now. Okay, so apparently so, here's here's what they said. Oh, but they're doing um, it. They're left handed. You notice that? Oh yeah, that's weird. Anyways, okay. So what do they say? Um, the statement explains that uh, motorists who drive past the signs or who see members picking up trash could be distracted, creating a safety issue. Okay, <laughs> oh, clever, <laughs> interesting. Creative. Uh, and uh, let's see, what was the other thing I was reading? Oh, participation in the program should not detract from its worthwhile purpose. Promoting uh, the department statement reads. Promoting an organization with a history of inciting civil disobedience and social unrest would present grave concern to the department. Issuing this permit would have been the would have, would have the potential to negatively impact the quality of life, commerce, and economic development of the union of Union County and all of Georgia. Ta da! Well done, state of Georgia. What's ironic is, you know, people who join the KKK are prone to some pretty antisocial behavior. I would I would venture to say I would be so bold as to claim sure so which means that probably a lot of them have experience picking up trash on the side oh. of the road <laughs> <laughs> just the vest That's not the, where the I out- you were going at all the the outfits are probably a little different when they were doing it but... <laughs> <laughs> where did you think I was going um, I totally thought that you were going to go in some sort of like, maybe we should just encourage them in their <laughs> one effort to not engage in antisocial behavior. Right. I didn't think you were going for like a joke. I thought you were like going in a totally different direction. No, I was and going I was like, And I was getting ready to be like, y'all, oh, Dan. But <laughs> Nope. That's not, that, that wasn't it at all. Oh, okay. Anyway. All right. Um, hey, uh, we're going to win. Are we? we as atheists are going to win. Are we? How? So, sa- so says one Mr. Nigel Barber. Uh, <laughs> is that a real name? Or it you is. Just make that up. You're making well, this whole thing up. I'm going to make something up at some point. One of the things that I say on this podcast will be fake. That's not true at all. <laughs> but that'd be funny. Yeah. Anyway, so Nigel Barber has made a has predicted that atheism will will defeat religion defined as there will be more atheists than there are religious people mm. by do you want to guess the year that he that he's putting on this um 20... actually before you before you guess let me give you how he's making this calculus okay here let, let's hear it okay so he's going by economic indicators really yeah so his whole thing uh his his theory revolves around the idea that as people become more affluent they're less li- they're they're less worried about lacking basic necessities or dying from violence or, or disease. Mm-hmm. Uh, with, in other words, they are secure in their own existence. He calls it the existential security hypothesis. Thus, the more secure ec- the more secure you feel in your life, the less you feel inclined to run to some sort of super some sort of uh, supernatural power for comfort interesting so wow okay that's that's interesting okay. and apparently apparently the figures line up pretty good apparently uh the most uh the most godless countries um are also economically very powerful oh. so so he lists uh countries uh Belgium Czech Republic Denmark, France, Germany, Japan, Netherlands, Sweden, and right here in the good old, good old United Kingdom, mm-hmm. all of them being uh, economically very strong, uh, maybe less so in the past few years, but in general, 
w- and, w- uh, wouldn't there also be though like providing like a, 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 a stable society yeah like c- countries that have probably have more um, more social social programs that sort wow. of thing wow yeah another reason for religious folk to to oppose uh, to, national health care uh, yeah because <laughs> it leads to atheism <laughs> apparently leads to atheism. <laughs> I think the opposite research, research shows. direction. <laughs> yeah, there's there's definitely a, a correlation. Wow. I don't know that I don't know that we could establish a causal. Oh no, uh, I want a causal one. Causal. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. So well, what was there your, has to be what? some way to explain why the 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 wealthiest nation is is one of the more religious. Well, yeah, we are we are behind. I, I don't know as that Americans that. that the, 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 that fully jives. But, but here's what I would say. What are the most religious states in our country? They are the poorest states in our country. Okay. And the wealthiest states in our country are the least religious. You get up into the, uh, the Northeast, you yeah. get into some of those really wealthy countries, or country states, and uh, nobody, nobody cares about religion up there. Right. But you go into the really deep south, the Bible Belt, as it is called, and uh, it's some, it's some, it's not quite as affluent. Well, what about our dear little Utah, though? Well, Utah is kind of an anomaly. Yeah, I mean, I think I think Mormonism is a bit of an anomaly. Although he actually mentions Mormonism in this in this uh, in 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 this article and says that what's happening all over is currently happening for us Mormons. And that is that, uh, as religious fundamentalists become economically integrated, young women go to work and produce smaller families as Mm. is happening with Utah Mormons. So as we see smaller families in Utah, which we are seeing a trend of fewer, uh, fewer, because Mormons traditionally love to have like nine kids in their family and whatever. Yeah, but, but that's, that's happening families, a lot less. Dan, you're saying like four or five kids. <laughs> yeah, which yeah. is still absurd. It's, well, it's going down, is what we're saying. <laughs> it's going down, especially since I mean, most most women have to work these days. Most family families need no, to be true. two income. Yeah, that's true. But you know, I, I I think if that's an indicator, we can see the patterns changing. Huh. So who knows? Who knows what that means? Utah's weird because it was founded by a religion. You know yeah, what I mean? Like true. the yeah. state was founded by a group of people who were there because of their religion. So it's 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 a different animal. Maybe. Yeah. Be interesting see. to see how that plays out. So wait a second. I was supposed to guess a year. Yes. The year that atheism gets over 50% in the world. 2283. 2038. Wait, what he guesses. What? 2038. Oh, I just inverted a couple numbers or something. <laughs> okay. Is that is that all it was? Yeah, that's all that was. Really? 2038? Wait, 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 wait. All over the world, there'll be more atheists? Uh, yeah. In, I wait, guess that's wait, wait, what wait. he's saying. What? Yeah. I, I don't necessarily buy it, but he's using, he's using various calculus... Uh, or maybe he's just saying in the U.S. Is he just saying in the U.S.? Uh, no. It, it, countries with the best standard of living are turning atheists, religious people, blah, blah, blah. That's really My understanding though. was that it was just, that it was a global, a global phenomenon. Fantastic. <clears throat> I yeah. love it. I'll go for it. Sign me up. <laughs> I'm on board. We we are on board the the <laughs> atheist toppling religion train i don't i don't even care about the word atheist that doesn't mean anything to me what i care about is that i just i don't like religion i really don't yeah i don't, I don't think know. it helps no it doesn't it's I think, poopy i think it can be helpful nah but but i think i think taken all for all the things that religion has figured out the the things that re, that organized religion does the the, the role that it serves in a, in a community to foster yeah. community, to foster uh, pro-social behavior, so forth and so on, right? Right. That's, none of, the, none of that that's comes good from stuff. Has nothing God. to do with God or a belief in God or anything like that. 
are those crazy books that all those people believe in. It's social evolution. It's it's yeah. the, the way that an, an organization adapted and changed to meet the needs of the population that it was quote unquote serving. Right. That's all that's all that happened in organized religion. All the things that you hear people say, well, I just don't know about, you know, well, you know, I just don't know how my kids would blah, 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 blah. I just don't know how my kids would learn good moral values and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, no, you no, teach them. You'll dumbass. teach them that because that's what a parent you, does. You're hopefully. still in charge of teaching them. Yeah, exactly. Still in, you know. Well, and it's it's what Louis C.K. said about about like when people complain, how am I supposed to explain gay marriage to my kids? And he's like, well, they're your shitty kids. Why do I care? <laughs> my friends have to not get married because you're you're afraid of a, an awkward conversation with your kids. Just fucking, <laughs> fucking have a conversation for Christ's sake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, um, speaking of groups that are trying to, uh, or, or someone who is trying to respond to the needs of her community. Oh. Um, a, a U.S. nun uh, wrote a book <laughs> on sexuality that is, <laughs> because she she's apparently, you know, she's, she's quite she's the expert. expert. Yeah, exactly. Um, that, that sounds great. It's like, uh, it's like when... A, a you like vegan... me writing a cookbook? Right, exactly. <laughs> I was going to say, a, a vegan writing a, a barbecue book. Oh, there's good vegan stuff you can barbecue. Okay, we're we're not gonna have this argument now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, anyway, right. uh, Vatican criticizes. Oh, and here's the kicker: <laughs> the Vatican criticizes her book. <laughs> you know, this nice well, little Vatican, that for whatever reason, is just in a snit about uh <laughs> american nuns right now man the nuns are just uppity that's oh. all there is to it they, these nuns are uppity do you, wait wait oh wait a minute uppity i just nuns? flashed i just had a flashback do you remember did you ever see the show i think it was on pbs and it was a nun talking about fine art oh yeah going into um ca- talking sister about... oh what was her name it's not sister nancy sister um Something like that. Ah, oh, what was her name? Uh, si- oh, oh, si- uh, what was her Wendy. name? Wendy, Sister, Sister Wendy. Wendy. Yes, that's it. <laughs> she was so cute <laughs> with her big buck teeth. If I remember, with right. her big British teeth, and she would always, oh, and she was totally, teeth. totally okay with like. And obviously, her her vagina is displayed in a way to indicate blah blah blah, and his <laughs> testicles dangle at a rakish angle, indicating this, that, and the other. And she was just completely okay with talking about all of the sexual elements. It was always yeah. hilarious to watch. Yeah, old ladies talking about sex. Yeah, that's that's comic gold right there. Well, yeah, <laughs> uh, but apparently, um, when. Uh, You know, when a nun uh, says that uh, gay marriage uh, can help transform the uh, stigmatization of gays um, or uh, writes that masturbation doesn't raise any moral problems and actually helps relationships rather rather than hinders them. That's a big uh, one. The Vatican Vatican responded to that one saying that masturbation is intrinsically and gravely disordered action. That I enjoy every Friday afternoon. Yeah. After well, I, I've never understood the objection to masturbation. Frankly, that's that one always has baffled me. Ever since I was a kid, I, w- I was a teenager desperately trying not to masturbate <laughs> because I was told I couldn't. Right. Which, you know, and and I was, I was like desperate. It was, it was this battle, this epic yeah. moral battle in my mind to not masturbate. And frankly... It's just so healthy to do it, especially when you're that age and you just need to release the tension. Yeah. It's ridiculous. I don't I just don't understand it. So go so, none. Yeah, go none. Um or, but what is it, Dan? I mean, are these priests really like not? Oh, yeah, that got to be. You know, like are are these priests at the Vatican, these cardinals and whatnot? Does the Pope really not masturbate? I mean, well, really? This Pope doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> the last pope was doing it all the time. Jesus Christ. 
I'm, think, I'm thinking John Paul was like. You think that's like, why? E- like every room in the Vatican, he made it a goal. Oh my God. <laughs> He's like, I'm now in the Raphael room. <laughs> the, this Pope, like, probably whips himself if he says the word masturbation. Oh no. Poor guy. <laughs> or whips somebody else. Ratzinger. He whips somebody else. Oh, yeah, yeah, he I, might. He's just, he's a, yeah, he's, he's a looking scary, for some scary American man. nuns. He is out to get them. Oh, my God. Well, yeah. you know, I've got a thing about nuns. I was I was oh, looking at a story. You? What is your uh, What is your thing about nuns? <laughs> no, 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 no. We're not going there. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because I, I had a, I, I don't remember what I said, but a few minutes ago I said something and it was right in the middle of what you were saying, but it was such a that, that's what she said moment. I couldn't, mm. I couldn't believe we didn't get something out of it. Oh, anyway, um, the uh, the apparently, so we talked about how the card, the uh, the Vatican went after the whole the organization of nuns called the uh, the Leadership Conference of Women Religious. Sure, and uh, and apparently they were just getting way too progressive for right. the. Uh, for, for which is what nuns always kind of do. Nun, nuns are the ones who end up working in the communities with people. Sure, yeah. Of course they're going to be progressive. Of course right. they're going to be like, you know what? I've I've worked with these gay people. They're nice. They're just normal humans. Right. We should be better to them. Right. This is hurting them. Our policies hurt them. Right. So, uh, so yeah, they got a big scolding from from the Vatican, and now apparently a whole bunch of Franciscan friars. Are are writing a letter? Have written a letter in support of the LCWR. Oh, yeah. friars, go friars! No way. Apparently, you know. And what's funny? I I should have done some research and learned like anything, anything about the order of Francis Franciscan friars as opposed to the various other orders. But at the very least, there's that. That's so, yeah, there, yeah. It's, there's a whole. I, I yeah. heard a whole interview. Go Friars. On, be nice uh, to nuns. NPR. Yeah. yeah. Right. Why not? Why not be nice to nuns? <laughs> Why not? Well, tell what me what else are you gonna do? You're gonna look a nun in the face and not be nice to that to that lady? Uh, I'm not gonna look her in the face. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> figuratively, of course, no one would ever want to look a nun in the face. Never, ne- never make eye contact. Never. Never. You will you will be damaged for life. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. I don't either. And I've I've had no real experience with nuns, so we probably shouldn't make fun of nuns. I'm sure they're great. Sure. I don't know. I mean, we were just talking about how they they're in the communities helping out. Yeah, I've seen I've I've seen that Whippy Goldberg movie. I know. Oh, <laughs> such a good movie. <laughs> so good. Yeah. Are you kidding me? That movie. You're crying by the end. If you're not, if you oh, if you yeah. haven't cried and then cheered by the mm-hmm. end, you just you don't have a heart, my and friend. And laughed, and laughed, laughter oh, well, through tears. Well, it's Whoopi, it's yeah. Whoopi. Yeah, oh, she touches, touches so good. the heart. Oh. <laughs> um, so, if you would like to comment on anything we've said today, uh, so far, <laughs> please uh, check out our Facebook, like us on Facebook. In fact. No. Uh, you can find us at facebook.com slash TGI Atheist and also our Twitter feed at TGI Atheist. We've had some nice uh, some nice responses, some nice interacting with sure, folks. Sure, yeah. You there can... is content on the Facebook that you don't get from our Oh, that's from, true. It's from enhanced our podcast. content. It is. It is. It's, it's sort value of added. enhanced experience. <laughs> um, also, opportunity to sort of interact with, with fellow listeners. Mm-hmm. And with, help with with us. Yeah, we'll just respond to you. Yeah, we're we we we're that uh, into it. Yeah, yeah. And if or you, yeah, that's not the only way to get in touch with us. You can send us an email. You can send us an email at podcast at thankgodimatheist dot com. Or leave us. Make a sure voice you spell note. everything right. Yes, important. <laughs> Don't invert that e and i. Um, yeah. Leave us a voicemail at 424-666-8442. That's 424-666-TGIA. We'll yeah. be right back. And we're back. <laughs> Indeed we are. <laughs> Here we are. 
back again. Uh, anyway, uh, um, so last week, do you remember that we were we were talking about Mormons and gays? We we had a discussion about what Mormons believe about the gays. Gays and Mormons, Mormons and gays. Uh, mm-hmm. And I don't know that yeah. we I, we kind of scratched the surface. We didn't dig too deep. Well, on that it's one. not like there's any like deep theological anything going on here. They don't right. They don't accept homosexuals as or, or into into the fold well okay back up they now do and that's what we got to that's sort of our point um but yeah they, they don't have any like rich deep history or anything i mean right and they, they don't accept just scratch the surface right right yeah that's true well i mean i guess that's part of the point isn't it is that they they only scratch the surface yeah. they don't want to delve into the complexities Mm-mm. of nope. of sexual of human sexuality no. nor did i mean the truth of the matter is I heard an interesting thing the other day, and it was something that I had thought of but not given much thought to. Okay, which was which was people talking about Mormonism, and ask you know because only men can have the priesthood, right? Mm, yeah. What about a an intersexed person? No. Isn't that an interesting question? But I know the answer. Is it no? Yeah, the answer is not very interesting. <laughs> it's an interesting question with a very. Just blatant, blunt. Well, what nope. if it's a person? I mean, if this person has a penis and testicles, what more do they need to get the priesthood? They also happen to have a vagina and ovaries. I think you have to make a choice. Yeah, but what if you choose man? Do you get to oh, have the priesthood? Oh, well, I think in that scenario, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, we're not talking about, we're not talking about someone who chooses to have, to have elective surgery to change their sex. We're sure. not talking about... I think so that you, I think you have to decide, and then I, and I think it would have to sort of reflect what your um, um, parents decided for you, because the yeah. fact of the matter is there are a lot of people. There, there's actually a large number. I forget what 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 the percentage is, but it's surprising when you actually hear it of the number of people who are born intersex, right? Sex, yeah, whatever. But it's, um, but it, but it's they, swept under the table. It's hidden. The, right. But the doctors, away. the doctors just typically recommend uh, snip, snip, and uh, you got a girl. Yeah. That's crazy to me. Yeah. That's mutilation. That's well, awful. It's, they're un, it's unnatural. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's, it's not one of our, it, it doesn't fit in with our binary system of gender. Dan, it's unnatural. Okay. They I actually I actually heard about a doctor. They weren't born that way. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yes, Wait. they were. Oh shit. That's the very definition of natural. <laughs> it's it's exactly how the nature how nature works. <laughs> <laughs> I actually heard a, about a doctor who who like was talking to a family about a about an intersex child and just said, "Well, it's easier to make a hole than a pole." Oh yeah. In no, reference that's... to like building a penis out of flesh or something like I don't know. It was just crazy talk. Anyway. Also when putting up a fence. Indeed. So, Indeed. It's easier to get the... <laughs> Se- sexuality and fencing is so similar in so many ways. Yeah. Anyway, so one of the things that we talked about was my friend mm-hmm. whom I did not name, uh, who was a uh a gay man living with uh, his wife of ten years, and a, yes, she's a woman, and mm. uh, and and that they were happy, and that this was a choice that they had made and found a way to uh, to make work, unlike so many other couples in Mormondom who think that they can pull that off and right. end up failing miserably. Right, exactly. But these two are are pretty legit about it, and if you question that, uh, ironically. They came out of the closet uh, on on his blog this week. I'm I'm gonna say that somehow it was us that inspired it. Oh, you think? No, not at all. Yeah, probably. Not. It was definitely not us. Yeah. But isn't that amazing that they so they they did a long and actually just beautifully written blog post about where they're coming from and what's going on. He's a he's a marriage and family family therapist. Mm-hmm. So he's pretty advanced with uh with this stuff and it's i think it's pretty convincing like i think i think i'm going to give it to them that that they've found a way to make it actually work beyond just like him denying his sexuality his 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 sex 
Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, what, what's I, your I take on it? I, I'm not so like, okay. First of all, I'm not going to question anybody's version of, of, of their story. Right. Sure. Like yeah, uh, if, if, if he says that he's happy and this is some, uh, a choice that has, um, that's working for him. Right. Um, then, uh, then, you know, then, okay. More power to him, whatever. I'm not going to get in, in, in the way of anybody's, um, um, decisions on, on how they form a family and all that kind of stuff. Right. Right. It's just, right. I, I don't think it's my place, but I, I, I'm, I'm struggling with it from the perspective of that he it's sort of being steeped in this idea of of um making a choice and that gay people have that have a have a particular choice right mm-hmm. maybe they don't get to choose their sexuality but they get but they choose how to live it and 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 he he says something really interesting in in in, in the post which is he says that you you gay people have to no matter what choice whether to be with a woman right a gay man right. or sure. be go and be with another another man you're having to choose to give something up and that really was kind of the sticking point for me because it almost to me seems like the very definition of self-loathing which is you see this as a lack you see this as something that is preventing you from living a full and happy life yeah and that's where i'm like you know i please go try it seems to be working for you i don't i don't question that it currently is um but i don't see but after coming out I don't see it as a lack. I don't see it as, as like I gave something up. Sure. No, I, and, and I, so, I absolutely and I, agree and with I, that. And, you know, and, and I think that if you, if you really talk to, um, gay people in general who are out and living their, 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 their life as gay people, um, I, I, I don't think you'll hear anybody go near that. Um, yeah. that, that kind of sentiment of, oh, I, 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 I gave something up in order to be gay. I don't, well, I've I seen don't... that. I have seen that, but, but not from any of our friends. Our people are well adjusted yeah, people. Th- that's, that's the whole self loathing thing. Right. But, but I mean, I, now I took it differently when, when Josh was talking about that. Oh, and by the way, his name is Josh. Now I can actually say his name. Yeah. I can actually, he's out so I can, I can talk about him. But when when Josh was talking about that, what I took from it was that what he would be giving up if he were to be live a you know go ahead and, and date guys and and do that whole thing was uh was his faith and his um and this there's this sort of sense that he has a that he's always wanted a family with a wife and and kids and stuff. I, I mean, I think that that's yeah, kind of I mean silly so, and fairy so, tale, but but I mean the faith yeah. thing. He would be giving up his faith yeah. if he did that. He I don't find that. I find that to be a good thing. He'd be giving up from his my faith perspective but in a religion that has no that place him. for him living life honestly. Honestly, and well, he's way, doing it law, he, honestly. He is Everybody, actually being honest. Living he's the life only one that the I know. way in, in in a way that was just sort of true to his to his natural sexual right. being. Right. Right. He's had he's had to work around what came naturally right. rather than rather than s- taking his natural po- starting point and going from there. Right. He's and he's found a way to craft it so that it really does work and it and frankly okay, so I did a blog post about this. I did a post on the blog, Frank. Woo! I didn't even know. <laughs> on thank god I'm atheist.com. Yeah, I just did it today. Oh, wow. Okay. Um so you guys can go and check that out. But one of the Yay. things that I said is that, um, you know, he he does it. He, I believe it. It's legit. He's made it work. 
But this he, is he's a, he's a, a he's a trained professional in matters of psychology. <laughs> and B, yeah. I think I think they're just. I I really Dan, think that I, you have to be adept in a way, like emotionally adept in a way that most people could never pull off. Here's the deal in my mind, okay, is that he's not the first person to do this. He's not oh, even close to the first person to pull this off on some level. There have no. been married men throughout time. And throughout throughout the LDS church who have never cheated on their wives, but who right. were gay, 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 gay. Right. Yeah, so, no, you're absolutely right. I, so, I don't claim like, that it's th- not there, possible. People, but can't, I, people do this. People suppress their sexuality. This is this is this is he, that's the thing. He he claims he's not suppressing his sexuality. He claims he's suppressing he his, his 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 because he has a, a robust sex life with his wife. It's just That's, not based I, on not physical saying, attraction. No, no. Right. <laughs> right. Which may baffle a lot of minds. I, I, I happen, not, to, I happen to fall with him. He's suppressing the... his uh, suppressing sex. Right. Right. I'm saying but he's, he's suppre- suppressing yeah. his sexuality. Yes. Because he admits in the in in the, in the in the post that he that he is attracted to men. That's all he's attracted to. Yeah, physically. Yeah, he's gay. He doesn't. Yeah. He makes no bones about it. He's not saying I'm bisexual. He's not saying right. You know I, you know I've changed. I'm cured of gay or anything like that. Right. He's gay. He's only attracted physically to men. Yeah. And so you know I think it's interesting that he's making it work. But I, 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 I don't like I, I don't. Um, I don't know. I don't want to I don't want to sit in judgment, but I don't think that it's a good narrative. I you know what? In the end, I don't think it is either. I, I in the end, they're happy and I'm happy that they're happy. Yeah. yeah I would sure. n- never, oh, ever I want other people to pursue this. Right. I just think that it's so. First of all, the chances of it ending horribly mm-hmm. with a family being torn up and tears on all sides oh, yeah. Yeah. is is probable it's not just it's not just you have uh, you know 50 50 we're talking about like 90 something percent chance that right. that's what's going to happen well i mean we we both know uh, an, an older middle-aged gay man mm-hmm. um who you know we several I, actually I, but, but no but i'm the one that you're talking specifically to. yeah i know who you're talking about um, who, who lived the same life. Yeah. But when the kids were out of the house and everything, well, even before the kids were out of, completely out of the house, there, there came a moment when it just didn't work anymore. Right. But, but, and, but, and if, that moment was, I mean, now he's so much freer. Oh my God. And happy I mean, well, and has a yeah. wonderful family and has yeah. wonderful connection, you know, wonderful kids, you know? Right. But, but right. and, and we all know someone like that, right? Like, sure. Like if, if you know gay men and you know a gay man over the age of probably 45, if you know a group of gay men over the age of 45, <laughs> you know one of them who was married and had kids. Right. You, you know? probably know several. You probably know some that are even younger than that, to be honest. Right. And so, like, like it's just, I just... This story I, would be so I'm much more hopeful. interesting. This This story would be so much more interesting if... If religion wasn't involved. Yeah. Yeah. Then it would be a different question entirely. Right. But the fact is that we are muddied into this crap religion. Yeah. Thanks for bringing it back around. You're absolutely right. Yeah. That's the issue Because here. Because frankly, make the choice. Make whatever fucking choice you want. Screw whoever you want to screw. Live your life as you want to live it. But if you're doing it, and this is the point that I made, one of the points that I made on the on the blog. Oh, when you're religious, you make you your logic works backwards, mm. which means that you start with a conclusion and then bend every bit of evidence you can find to try and support that conclusion. Yeah, yeah. Which is the, the opposite of how logic works. Right. And and so once once you put religion involved, once once religion's your your one of your determinant factors, everything goes to shit. You're yeah. not making clear. You're not making 
solid decisions. Right. Although I will say this, while they're abandoning logic as part of their, you know, like carefully practiced logic as part of their, as part of the calculus, they do have the spirit. (laughs) Yeah. So, so make, you know, make, you you lose one tool, you gain another. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Well, I hope that works out. I do too. Well, and, who and follow the spirit. And I hope that their marriage works out. I wasn't being. I hope that didn't come off like I was being sarcastic yeah. about that. No, their marriage is fine. Their marriage but, is great, and they're but, great um, people. And, and I, I just don't recommend are, this to are, anybody. Are, are fine through all of this and all of that. But like, it's just it. It seems like a very precarious position to put yourself and another person and children into. Absolutely, but you know what. <laughs> But it's their I choice. could say that about lots and, of and different you know marriages. What? I'd rather have them doing that than most of the people who put the kids into precarious situations because of Absolutely. other circumstances. Right. So it's, yeah, this is this is certainly better to me it's than two loving people with with three kids and blah blah right. blah. They're whatever. not going to abuse them. They're not going to do anything horrible to their kids. They're going to treat them well their right. whole lives. Sure. So that's a great thing. I yeah. you, there's another point to be made here, by the way. Yeah, which is that that I predict, and I said some of this on the blog post as well. I have a prediction that this will actually, in the long, at very least in the short term, have even though it may have a deleterious effect on individual lives, meaning some gay man might read this and think, "Oh, I can do it too," sure, and then and then like it may blow up and and have a really bad effect. I think on the whole. I can't tell you how many comments I've read. His blog post now has like about 3,000 comments on it. Oh my God, really? Yeah. Like this thing went viral. And uh, and a lot of them are from Mormons who were saying things like, I didn't understand gay. Gay didn't make any sense to me. You've now given me a context in which it makes sense. It's probably not worded that nicely. But the point is that uh, I think... This, because it's been passed to every Mormon on my Facebook feed. They are all posting this thing. It's okay. ma- it's making waves among Mormonism. I think it's going to be good for Mormons and their and their uh, their view, think, no. their 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 understanding of homosexuality. I think it gives them a false understanding and a and 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 a strange hope for their gay kid. I think. Well, that's here, the danger, here, here. and I talked about that. That is a danger, but I'm saying that on the whole. It at very least opens them to say, like all these people who still weren't accepting the concept that gay is not a choice, that still were thinking that gay is something that people choose because they want to rebel or because I mean, there's so many people out there that, and especially in Mormonism, who have bizarre ideas about where what gay is and where it comes from. At least he speaks with the weight of being a, a member who has made a decision, who's being incredibly honest and incredibly clear in his yeah. thinking. I think it's and a he says, And he says, I am gay. Yeah. I don't, I don't have attraction to women. I didn't choose it. I choose the opposite, as a matter of fact. But I think just be wash. clear about I think this. it gives, one, it gives the, the potential to understand like, the, 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 the no choice part of it while... Yeah. Um, not clearing up anything and in fact giving a false hope about the 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 the, what it what it does in a really strange way is it continues this choice narrative right yeah about sexuality believe me i'm with you i'm totally and and so it's like oh well so so oh so they don't so but it's really funny how it's working it's like oh so they're they are gay they really really are gay Oh, but they can choose right to not be right, right, and even, even where is it... where the narrative has been is oh well, they're just choosing to be gay, right? So they're screwed they're up somehow, and they're making this decision, right? And right. so it's it's furthering that narrative. It's it's a I think it's 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 steeped in a misunderstanding of human sexuality. It'll be interesting to see how this all plays out. So. I, d- I, I, I don't say that I think that it's going to be a, a wholly positive or wholly negative impact. I think that it's That's interesting. Why I, I think it's a wash. I think yeah. it's, I think the, the, that there's a net gain of zero. 
I I wouldn't say that. I would say that there is, I because I don't think it's as complex as just a as as just a plus or a minus. I think it's going to have some very big effects in both directions, in just different parts of 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 things. Hmm. So we'll see. But okay. I think it is big. I think that actually that this is big. I think go Josh. Josh has now entered a very interesting uh, testimony into the conversation. Interesting. All right. Well, Dan, people and our listeners, follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash TGI Atheist. Like us. Or what do you do? No, like us on Facebook. Right. Follow us on Twitter at sure. TGI Atheist. Also, and, go uh, to the blog, read this blog post, and then let's keep this conversation going on the blog. We've already had, I've already had a couple of people making comments. Uh, if you want to comment about the specific, about Josh in particular, and also link, there's a link to the, uh, to his, um, his, his post. Sure. You can go to thankgodimatheist.com and check that out. Or leave us a voicemail, 424-666-TGIA, that's 424-666. 666-8442 and let us know what you think about this yeah. or anything else that we've talked about today um, and, uh, and thanks for listening everybody yeah have a good one <laughs> bye bye bye